Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Bean, and welcome back to another show, another video, and a brand new episode. And yo, of course, you're now, you're now rocking with the best word up. Yo, I know it's been a mad long time since I dropped the video, but honestly, yo, I've been working mad, mad long, been working overtime, and it's just been a crazy month, and uh, so I ain't dropped any videos. I haven't even really been playing many games as of late, been watching a lot of sports, of course, watching the Super Bowl, watching basketball. I'm currently watching the Cleveland Cavaliers right now just beat the Indiana, beat the Indiana Pacers right now. So, uh, so yeah, I've been like crazy tired. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the show. I ain't know what I really want to talk about today. I, had, I do have a couple of things I do want to make a video on. I've been thinking about them for the past three or four days. But today, I kind of just want to want to go at the gaming community as a whole. I know Miss K don't like this stuff, but it it, it is it is. But to me, it's fascinating in a sense of that this gaming community is crazy. It is just the the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, I know I've talked about it before, but again, this is something that I just can't understand. I mean, I do understand. I get it. It's more or less along the lines of media, man. I, I'm comparing it to real world events. I, I, I tell you like this. I have been watching more CNN and Fox since Donald Trump been elected than I have ever in my whole entire life. This has been the most fascinating things I've ever seen. And I'm watching. And the reason why I say that, not only because of the stuff that Trump is pushing through, but some of the stuff just seem idiotic. And I know some of you guys may be Trump supporters and I get it. I don't support Trump and I don't support Hillary Clinton. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. Um, you know, it's one of those things. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of background about myself. Real quick, if you allow me to indulge you in this. Now, me being a black man, if you can't tell, I'm an African-American man. Now, when I was growing up, I thought to myself, um, since everybody I knew was black, that I should be part of the Democratic Party. You know, and so that's mainly what I that's what I did. That's what I that's what I was, you know. And then as I got older, I realized some of my values that I hold true lined up with the Republican Party. It, it did. I know that's shocking, isn't it? But when I started studying the Republican Party, those guys are some of the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen in my life. And yeah, I said, I don't care if it pisses you off and makes you mad about it. If you be real with yourself, you know that they're hypocrites. So I, I now have decided, well, I decided years ago that I'd be an independent. I'm a free agent. And so as I got older, I really began, began to study media and study how media manipulates people, how media controls the people's minds and how people seem to regurgitate what they have learned by watching their TV, by watching TV. They regurgitate what Fox News says. They regurgitate what CNN says. They regurgitate what MSNBC says. And I know you're saying, Bean, what does this have to do with the gaming community? And let me tell you what it has to do with the gaming community. When I read comments that people make, no matter if you're pro PlayStation, it doesn't matter if you're pro Xbox or even pro Nintendo. The guys who are heads of these communities, you know, the so-called communities or what have you, people regurgitate to what they say just to validate whatever purchase that they make. So when you see people on the Xbox side of the community who who are pro Xbox and put out a lot of propaganda and people just go along with it, they don't want to check them on them. And then when you start checking them with the facts, then they call you a hater. Then you do the same thing on the PlayStation side. And you start checking them with those facts, they call you a hater. Same thing with Nintendo. It's the same thing. And But these guys are spin doctors. And they just, what they're doing is what the uh, the massive media is doing. The same thing. The same thing. And, and what's amazing is, with all this technology, with all the stuff that we have to do research on, that most people just don't do it. And you have it at your fingertips. You have the information where you can get the information from Google from being or wherever you have the access to the information to get the correct answer for whatever you want now i know i throw out some things and i may be wrong in my opinion on things in which i i mean you know i don't mind being wrong i like learning so if i am wrong then i'm wrong just point it out but the thing is people are sheep and it's the same programming that goes on in the national media same thing goes on here in the gaming community. And it's amazing to me how you can sit there and literally spin something. And hundreds and thousands of people will sit there and not only retweet it, 
They will agree with it. They will just go along with it. I'm like, you know, these facts aren't true. But God knows if you sit there and you tell them, hey, man, look, this ain't right. You know, Xbox only sold X amount or PlayStation only sold X amount or people only bought X amount. It's it's crazy. It's crazy how the gaming community just rolls with it, rolls with whatever the top dogs may say. And you guys all know who these top dogs in each one of these communities are. And it's amazing how, like I said, people don't think for themselves. And it, it just it bugs me when it comes to that. I'm not saying everything should be hunky dory. I'm never going to say that. That's not going to be it's not realistic. That's not real life. But when you when you have facts that are in front of you and you totally deny the facts and you just go by based on what you believe in, then that's a problem there. There's a major problem there. You know, that I don't know what to say. And I don't know what else to say about the gaming community. I really don't. I mean, I'm proud to be a part of it. I'm glad to be a part of the gaming community. I'm glad to be making videos. I'm glad to even be playing games. But sometimes it gets sickening to see it. And I know you're saying, Bean, why do you watch it? I do watch it because I want to know what these guys are thinking. And then again, when you get into the comment sections of it, it's just like, wow, really? Like, you can't think for yourself. You don't really believe these things that you're saying for yourself. You have to let somebody else purchase somebody else's opinion to find what your purchase mean to you or define who you are, you know, and then the blatant, blatant, blind worship and idol, the idolization of a corporate company, which makes absolutely no sense. These corporate, these corporate companies don't give a damn about me or you or the next girl, your son, your daughter, your uncle, your sister, your mama, nothing. They don't care nothing about y'all. They don't care nothing about me. They don't care about none of us. And yet we have blind devotion to either to each one of these companies. All you guys, everybody out here who is a real gamer. Well, screw it. I don't want to say a real gamer because there's different levels to gaming. But if you're in gaming, you should never, ever, ever, ever follow a corporation blindly. I'm not saying you shouldn't be a fan of them. Of course, if you like their work and like what they're doing, then yeah, support them. I get it. Don't get me wrong about that. I get that. But to blindly worship these people who are whose sole job is to make money and especially if they're a publicly owned company i think a lot of people y'all don't understand if you don't work in corporation which i do and i'm i know what this is like when you work for people who have uh shareholders to answer to that makes your job extremely hard let me explain to you why the job makes your job extremely hard so if you're a privately owned company for the most part you can run your business like you want. You can kind of, you know, you look out, you get profits here and there. Yeah, you want to always make profits anyway. Every company wants to grow, but the pressure is not the same. But see, when you got shareholders and investors to answer to, that's when you get stuff stripped away. That's when prices start rising because each and every quarter, they got to show that they're making profit. Because if they don't, what happens is those investors start pulling their money out. See, they start pulling that money out. When they start pulling that money out and pulling it back, then that's when the CEOs, they start cutting back on hours. That's when CEOs start letting people off to make that make sure they have that profit to pay out those dividends. A lot of these companies like Microsoft, I think Sony is also a publicly owned company. I'm not sure. So don't hold me to that. I know Nintendo definitely is. So a lot of times we have to pay as consumers, we have to pay extra because of. They got to reach that that profit margin for their shareholders to pay out or they're going to lose money. So understand this. What I said all that is to say this. Phil Spencer, the head guy at Sony, the head guy at Nintendo, they work for stockholders. They work for shareholders. They do not work for us consumers. They will spend it that they're doing this for us. They're not doing this for us. They're doing it for their shareholders and for their pockets. So stop worshiping these companies and demand more for them for the money that you're spending. Gaming is a very expensive hobby. I know these these uh, I know these these consoles are going down in prices, but you got to look at this. Look at this. When you get a game now, you think about this. This is the flip side of what they've done. They basically what they're doing is selling these consoles at a loss. Only thing they really want to do is get consoles in your home. We get them in your home. That's fine. We're going to sell you software. Now you think about this now. Pricing of games has not gone up because they found that $59.99 is the threshold that gamers are willing to pay. So what do they do? What do these consoles do? Each one of them. What do you, what, what do you think they do? You know what they do. 
they'll sell you a $60 game, but the game ain't complete. The game's not complete. You got to get the season pass. Sometimes it's 30. Now it's going up to 40 bucks. Some of them I see it's 60 and 75 bucks for the season pass, right? So let's say it's 40 bucks. You don't spend $60 just using round numbers. And it's 40 bucks to get the season pass so you can get the full gaming experience for the most part. That's a hundred dollars for the game. And let alone to buy digital skins if you buying all that extra stuff. You think, okay, it's one dollar for me. It's just like the same thing what they do on the iPhone and Google Play. Yeah, it costs you 99 cents. But if you got 10 million people paying a dollar for it, they got made 10 million dollars. You, you see what I'm saying? If you feel me, you see what I'm saying? That's how they do that. That's what gaming, that's what the gaming industry has turned into. They sell you a base model, give you the console, give it at a reasonable price, they sell it for a loss. Just to get the console in your market and in, into your home. And once they get the console in your home, they sell you extra add-ons to these games. And if they're not going to do that, if they're not going to make their money on the back end, then they're going to make it on the front end. They're going to start charging more for the games. Which one of the two? One of those two is going to happen. Not every company is that bad. Like CG, CD Projekt Red is a really good company. They give you when you get DLC, you get real DLC that's worth the value of almost like another single player game or what have you. Not every company's bad, but majority of them, that's all they want. That's all they want. They want to sell you a game really for a hundred plus bucks. They'll leave, leave a lot of the content out and add that on there to it. So again, you must understand these corporate, these heads of corporations are not your friend. They're none of our friends. They're here to make money. They will laugh and smile and joke with you but they're here to take your money out of your pocket. So it doesn't make any sense if you're part of the gaming community, no matter which console you prefer, to literally sit there and worship the people who are head of these console uh, makers or to sit there and worship the console itself just to make to help them make extra sales. I know we all, if we like something, we want something, we want to share it with everybody else, but to blindly just lie and spread propaganda because of a gaming console, um, because of your favorite company, that's not a good thing, guys. That's not pro-consumer. That's pro-corporation. You should always be anti-corporation. That don't mean you go into anarchy. And I'm not saying corporations shouldn't make any money. But you have to demand more from each one of these console makers. Every last one of them. You know, we got to be as consumers, be smart and educated consumers. And it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't help when you have the leaders of said community and i know you can say they're not really leaders or what have you but the truth of the matter is they got the loudest voices on the internet especially for gamers you can't let them lie to you to go buy some product just to support a company or a corporation that does not care nothing about you doesn't make any sense it's your money you worked for it you earned it and like i said gaming is an expensive hobby it's not a cheap hobby especially now if you want all the bells and whistles it is not a very cheap hobby so all i'm gonna say is this the gaming community people all of us no matter if you pro xbox pro sony pro nintendo wake up let's demand more from these corporations and stop just following the bs that comes online but i know it's gonna fall on a lot of deaf ears i know some people are not gonna care what i'm saying about this and i know that you're going to do what you want to do. It's your money. You do what you want to do with it. But all I'm saying is just be a smarter consumer. Don't let these companies uh, run all over you. Buy what you like. Enjoy what you like. You don't need anybody endorsement. You don't need anybody validation to validate what you like. You feel me? Because I'm pretty sure there's some games that you probably bought off a recommendation from somebody else in the gaming community. And you hate it, but you won't say nothing about it. You know, because I've done it before. I ain't going to lie to you. I have to. I'm not I'm not trying to exalt myself over anybody else. I've done the same thing, too. You know what I'm saying? So we all just have to wake up and just be smarter. That's all I'm saying. So <clears throat> let me know what you think. I know some of y'all going to hate it. I know some of y'all might like it. And if you made it to the end this far, I really appreciate it. But uh, it's your boy, King Bean. And I'll holler at you dudes later, man. One love. Peace.